Hi. Um, my mom uh, keeps telling me that in uh, some way ego is important for, um, um, well, I guess she means survival, but um, she says to live on, so. She said what? She, she says to live on or to, to kind of get, get a life which is not um, uh, poor and disappointing and depressing. Right. So that's good. So the thing is, there's a lot of confusion about the word ego because the word it means different things to different people. So um, your, your mother probably, f probably means, uh, you know, uh, self-confidence, a strong sense of self, a strong character, belief in yourself. Right? Yeah, I guess. Huh? Yeah. So she's right. She's right. So, so is a strong character and a, and a um, self confidence is is it ego or is it isn't it? No, not not at all, not at all. That the when when I'm talking about the ego here, I'm speaking about a very a, a very uh, specific expression of ego, which is the which is uh, which is narcissism. Are you familiar with the word narcissism, Daniel? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. I... So narcissist is someone who is more is 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 always admiring their own reflection in the mirror of their own mind. Right. See my point. Yeah. So that would mean, like for example, if it was you, you means you would just be adoring, you see, and in love with your own image, the own image that you have of yourself in the mirror of your own mind, and your relationship to life would 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 uh, would be based upon um, fulfilling the desires of that image that you see in the mirror. Okay. Right? Right. So a narcissist is someone who's in love with themselves, and they're more in love with themselves than they are with anyone else, than they are with life, and then they are with, or, or they are with God or truth. Okay. Can you see that as being maybe problematic for, for an individual who wants to evolve beyond ego, who wants to become one with, the, with God and the authentic self? Yes. Yeah, because they're, more, because they're more in love with their own image and they're more invested in their own image than they are in God or truth. Right? Yeah. So that means, so that means their relationship to life, therefore, is going to be an expression and a manifestation of the fears and desires of their narcissistic self-infatuation. Their whole life is going to be uh, an expression and manifestation of that, not of the evolutionary impulses we've been, in the way we've been talking about it. You see my point? Yeah. Okay. So the reason why ego is a problem here is because, um, uh, is because the, the, this narcissistic self-infatuation uh, um, takes us in a completely different direction in the direction we've been speaking about all week. But so, so when I'm referring to ego here, I'm not referring to what your mother's referring to. I'm referring to this, you know, this, the irrational need to see the self as being separate, the, the irrational need to... Um, so, so whenever... So the ego is, 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 this, is this impulse that motivates children and adults to kind of do things and to strive in ways to, so the self can see itself as being separate and superior, or even in some cases inferior to the others. But always some way to all, someone always some way to see ourself as standing apart from, right? So in 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 egoless consciousness, you're aware of everything that's happening, but your motive is not to see yourself as being separate, right? You're aware of yourself. You're aware of the other. You're aware of the others. You're aware of the context. But you, there's not a strong motive that's driving you to take actions that will uh, allow yourself to see yourself as being separate. And as I was saying yesterday, you know, some expressions of narcissism are, are most, you know, a lot of them are about being able to see yourself as being superior to other people. But some will also be actions that will allow yourself to see you see yourself oneself as being superior, inferior, a loser, someone with a special problem. But if you, even if you speak to a loser or someone with a special problem, you'll start to find out that even in their unworthiness, they also feel superior to other people.
So, so this impulse to see the self as being separate from and superior to is what we're talking about here. Okay? So when I'm talking about ego, it's the irrational compulsion to see oneself as being separate. What would a human being be like? What would we all be like, being the person we are right now, free from the energetic uh, compulsion to see the self as being separate from? So when I'm talking about ego, that's all I mean. I'm not talking about having a, a strong and positive sense of self, having a quote-unquote strong character, a belief in yourself, or self-confidence is a good thing. And that's not necessarily ego in the way that I'm using it at all. So I don't disagree with your mother. It's just that the, the specific definition of ego I'm speaking about is, uh, is, applies directly in relationship to the potential for enlightenment, which is, the, which is evolution beyond ego.